Hey, hey, what up, what up, what up? It's Arona, a.k.a. Cinematic Cissé, and today I'm talking about Stanley's quote, with great power comes great responsibility. That sounds like a cliche-ish, corny saying, but that's actually centuries old. That's actually biblical. The Bible does state, to much more is given, much more is required. When Jesus healed the blind man, that came with responsibility. That man, it has to be responsible for his actions and what he sees. And a lot of people don't say it that way and they don't see it that way. When Spider-Man and all these superheroes, when they have these powers, they're responsible for their actions. They're responsible for saving that person's life they're encountering at the time. Just like you as a person, you're responsible for your thoughts, your actions, and your flaws and your weaknesses. A lot of people want this lavish lifestyle they want this money, they want this body, they want these followers on social media, but when it comes down to it, to having all that stuff, it's all about responsibility. And many people out there are not responsible enough to handle hundreds to thousands to millions of followers having all that money. When uh, B.I.G. song, More Money, More Problems, I used to wonder why he said that. Because growing up a certain way, I said, well, you could have more, a lot of money to pay your bills and not struggle and you could eat. But now that I'm older and been through some stuff, I understand what he's saying. A lot of that also comes down to responsibility. If you're just going to get all this money and blow it all on drugs, alcohol, women, men, whatever lifestyle you choose to do or luxuries and pleasures, that's irresponsible. You're not going to pay your bills. That's irresponsible. That's why sometimes... Uh, things happen in stages. God gives you things in stages. Even me, if I would have had certain things when I wanted them, I would have been in a world of hurt. I could have fallen into some deep sin. And that's why God wants us to grow and he uses adversity. Just like Spider-Man, when he le leveled up and did all these things, Uncle Ben dying, that was adversity so he can go to the next stage. Imagine all these heroes getting all these uh, powers and all that at the time they wanted or at the at a certain time they couldn't have handled the threat that came later on they wouldn't have understood it because their calling was higher sometimes when you go through things in life your calling is higher than most people and when you try to explain that to a, a regular person or somebody who's not called or so-called normal person they're not going to understand you you will be misunderstood Especially when you have that these this deep philosophy and ideologies about life. Don't tell everybody your business. That's another thing of responsibility. Jesus even told people, don't tell some, uh, people things. You don't have to tell everybody everything. You have to be responsible with keeping secrets. I'm not trying to jump all around here. Just what I'm saying, it just ties all together. If you really want that life you want... You have to learn to be a responsible person. You have to be a person of integrity. That would be like Superman just abusing his power. Yeah, when he got on Red Kryptonite, he abused it, but he got off of it. He was being irresponsible. And sometimes those movies, they're the best visualizations of seeing those supernatural things. And it doesn't have to be just superhero movies. Look at some of these movies with uh, people who just party lavishly. You can see it in your life. They partied hard and that they're broke. They end up broke because they were being irresponsible. R.I.P. to Stanley. I did get a chance to see him in a Albuquerque Comic Con back in 2011. I was working there at the time. I wanted to say hi to him, but he was signing autographs. I would have gotten in trouble for it, but I wouldn't have cared because that was a once in a lifetime thing. But shout out to him. I'm thankful he said that quote. A lot of people have to, it's, it's deeper than what it, what it means. Like I said, it's centuries old. To be, And also another thing the Bible says, to be faithful with much, you must be faithful with the little. If you really want those millions or to, to thousands to millions of followers, you have to be faithful with the little things you have now. If you can't handle the little followers, the few followers you have now, you're not going to be able to handle the stuff, the uh, more followers later. If you're not changing lives, encouraging people, interacting with people, dealing with uh, drama with those few, you can't handle most of it when it comes. Because people will come against you. People will lie on you, slander your your name because of whatever, or people from your past. 
If you can't handle somebody, a few people saying that now, you're not going to handle it later. Just like what, it, whether you live in a house, apartment, you're homeless, you're currently incarcerated. If you can't handle the situation you're in now, you're not going to be able to handle what's, co what's coming forward, the, the life you really want. Because the life you want, you might think, oh, it's easy, you get to have money, you get to have women. That stuff, like I said, it's about responsibility. And many people lose it because they were being irresponsible. Sometimes those superheroes lost things because they were being irresponsible. They had self-doubt. They kept thinking about their past. They um, went rogue or whatever because of an irresponsible thought. Everything begins with a thought. Remember that, y'all. We banging.